the line houses uh, were houses that were built that straddled the border. A portion of the house was in Canada and a portion was in the United States. They weren't built to be like that, they were just built and then the border came through. While it was illegal to drink in the United States, it wasn't in Canada. So technically, those houses, you could have a bar on the Canadian side. So you could drink on the Canadian side of the house, but you couldn't on the US side of the house. Now, was that enforced? I hardly think so. But those became known as line houses, and they were makeshift drinking establishments. I suspect that all of them disappeared probably the day that Prohibition came to an end. This glimpse into Vermont's rich history during Prohibition has been made possible in part by the Vermont Brewers Association and Vermont Homebrew Supply.